Wow. Hello, hello, hello. This is PS3 Genius again. I am here and back, and I'm better than ever. I'm sorry for not doing many videos in a long time, but I just had so many things to do, so many games to play, and I just never had the time to, um, like, do the thing, review or video or anything. So today I'm back, and I will be doing a Modern Warfare 2 review. I will try to go in depth as possible as I can. So let's get started, shall we? First of all, um, Modern Warfare 2 is the sequel to Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. It is not the sequel to World of War. They are made by two different games, two different companies. This Modern Warfare 2 is made by Infinity Ward, while as World of War was made by Treyarch. Modern Warfare 2 is a so far, this game is a pretty good sequel, I might say. It's not the worst game ever, but I would say it's a very good game. But let's not talk. Let's start this game up. Okay, sorry for that. Alright, so you see this is a title, this is a screen when you start up Modern Warfare 2. On the left here, you see Special Ops. Right here is the campaign, and right here is the all-powerful multiplayer. Let's start off with the special ops. Right here, it will show your completion of the thing. You can see mine is 100%. Alright, so you have a split-screen, solid play, two-player online, option, status, friendly, menu. This special ops, I might say it's a very good special, special ops. is a very fun and is a never, very good thing to the new Modern Warfare. It makes you like, makes you feel like you're playing with your friends because you basically you're playing with your friends and stuff like that. It's basically, let me just start off with one here. It's basically like just like just it will. You might have to like finish something in a special time. You might have to def defeat a certain amount of um, things. Yeah. So run through all the. Um, so you have the Alpha, you have the Bravo, you have the Charlie and Delta Echo. When you have enough stars, you can move on to Bravo. When you have enough stars, you can move on to Charlie, so forth and so on. This special ops has many trophies you can do. So if you like getting trophies, I recommend you. Um, playing special ops because you can get some kind of easy trophies for this game right here. You go, you can also you don't have to play with your friends if you don't have friends. You can also play solid play all by yourself if you don't want to play by yourself. Want to play with somebody? I'm sorry. You can play with by yourself, but I would not recommend that because when you're playing on veteran, it's very very difficult. I might say <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. But yes, um, overall the special ops is really fun. I when I first started playing, I was having a little problems. I wasn't that good at all. But I might say that special ops is pretty fun. I would say for you to at least try it out because many people, like first of all, if you don't, if you like playing stories and stuff like that, and you don't want to play play the multiplayer, I would definitely recommend you playing special ops because this will take a long time to finish up and um. You will love it because it, it is really fun. And if you like something really hard, then you would definitely love this because the veteran on this special ops is really, really difficult, I might say. But yes, the special ops is really fun to play. I would recommend you to play this. So let's go back to the main menu and you see campaign. Okay, first of all, the campaign is called For the Record, as you see. And. First of all, let me say that if you're looking for a game that has a really good story mode or a really good campaign and this is the game you get, I recommend you not getting this game because this game does not play, this game is not really meant for the story mode, it's really meant for the online, but the story mode, I, I, first, off, I first started playing on Veteran, I couldn't, for me it was just so hard to like finish it up, I could I'd not finish it. At all, I'm better at to switch to recruit, just finish up the trophies there. But the campaign is about five to six hours for me. I have to finish it up. Um, you go through, let me just see right here. I, um, 
accidentally like deleted my save data, so it's it's not sure or anything. But yeah, you can uh, play through three acts, and the acts are pretty long. It's not that probably an act probably like two hours or half an hour. I mean hour and a half for each one. But this campaign is basically you leave off after you left off in Call of Duty 4. You are now working for a new company, new place, and um, you are trying to find out. I don't want to spoil this for you if you have not played it already, but you're trying to basically get stuff, basically. You find, you reunite with some couple friends, Captain Price, you see him in here. And basically the campaign could be better. Um, if I if this game was only a uh, story mode, I probably would give this game a um probably like a seven out of ten or eight out of ten because the story mode is not that good at all. If you're looking for story mode, I recommend you getting Uncharted 2 definitely because that game is probably the best story mode ever on the PS3 system. But that's enough of that. Mario Kart 2 campaign is not that good, but um I mean I don't want to say it's horrible. No, no, it's a really it's kind of fun, but I would not recommend you. Getting this game just for the campaign, but yes, the campaign is kind of good, but it's not the best. It could be better. Hopefully, the next one is better. And you see, you have the multiplayer, the best multiplayer I probably would say for the Call of Duty games, and probably in the top five multiplayers for the PS3 system. The multiplayer is. You rank up R to seventy and like in Call of Duty Four was fifty five I think. Okay. Well, I'm sure you have seen this screen before. You see a fine game, private match, creator class, call sign, kill streaks, barracks, invite. Alright, um there are many new things in this there are many new things in this, um Online, they have created, they made a lot of stuff like you can have titles now, emblem, clan tag, kill streaks, many things. The barracks, you got more challenges to do, like a leaderboard, kill streak rewards now. It's not just a um, 357 in Call of Duty 4, but it is now many kills you can, you can have, but you can only have three at a time. You get the nuke if you want to get the nuke. I don't have that unlock right now. I mean, I don't have that right now. I just have my 457. The one with my. Yeah, so yeah, like the. You have many more matches. The new ones are, with, I think it's the third person team tactical and um probably a few others, I'm not sure. But you see, there are a lot of people online. There's always a lot of people online, but. So yeah, that you can have your classes in um but when you prestige in this game you can get more classes, you can get up to ten I think. If you prestige already to ten, you can get ten five more classes, which is pretty cool. I just don't want to prestige because I just don't feel like prestiging because I have other games to play. And um if you're a new at this game or a new person at this game, well if you're wondering what my top five guns are, it is number one the Tar twenty one, number two is the UMP forty five. Number three is the AK-47. Number four is the um, RPD. And number five is the SCAR-H, if you're wondering. That is my top five guns in the game. But yes, these, this online is very fun, I would say. It's very fun, but you will get mad a couple times if there are people who are, like, hacking, who are glitching, and stuff like that. And on the bottom screen, you can see your friends. Um, rewards, stuff like that. So yes, I would say this um, this store, this multiplayer is really fun. I would I would definitely recommend you getting this. I'm sorry if you already like have this game and just um, cause I know this is a, a bit late for review, but I'm just I want to do this review. If you're not, if you're looking for a good review, hope this is a good one for you. But yes, this online is a very fun one and I do recommend to play this this online because I think you will have quite a joy in it. So thanks again for watching this video. Comment, subscribe, rate please. I need some more comments and subscribes and I'll try to tune you guys up in a video sooner than 
later as I have done before. Hope you like this review. This is PS3 Genius. All right.